Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Selamat pagi. A very good morning to everyone. My name is Hasnul Jamal bin Saidun. Uh, before I proceed, allow me to say thank you to the organizing committee of this conference for inviting me to be one of the keynote speakers for this year's conference. Uh, certainly, it is an honor to be invited and I am extremely pleased to reconnect with the faculty. The faculty has a very uh, special place uh, in my heart because I used to be working at the faculty from 1994 until 2000. In fact, the topic that I will be sharing today has to do with the legacy that has been planted at this faculty uh, during the 1990s. It was also a period when electronic and media practice in Malaysia was actively changing from offline to online. Uh, this presentation will survey the initial emergence of online art, uh, also known as uh, online exhibition, as well as virtual art and exhibition. It will also provide a historical context in regards to the use or deployment of online technology within the practice of visual art. I will begin by introducing the use of the internet, mostly focusing on Niranjan Raja, who has left a very important legacy in regards to the internet art or online art in Malaysia. This will be followed by discussion of selected works through three frameworks namely number one shifting cultural constituencies and a return to transcendence number two the shift from personal to a return to communalism and number three towards participative activism and mobilization this will be followed by a summary of the presentation okay i will begin with the use of the internet as the various media of representation and communication coalesce into a multivalent hypermedia, the esoteric theories of postmodern culture are rapidly turning into everyday sensibilities. Niranjan Raja, known as the pioneer of the internet art in Southeast Asia, also known as the forerunner of critical engagement with the shift from offline to online art. He has written and presented many essays and papers about the shifting social and cultural context brought about by the internet. His internet-based works became his method of inquiry into the shifting paradigm between offline and online space, or between the net and the self. He has also been acknowledged as the first internet artist in Malaysia. He deploys the term cybrid space to imply the relationship between offline and online, net and the self, or the virtual and the physical. The characters of these two types of space may be distinct, yet they overlap or congruent with one another. It is not really a linear shift, but a form of oscillation or shifting back and, back and forth, or transmediation between offline and online paradigms, between media embodiment and disembodiment, between offline and online media ecologies. It is also a shift from proprietary authored publishing to open participatory publishing, from a closed gallery-based art to an open gallery, uh, or what Malro used to term as museum without walls. In the 1950s, André Malraux had proposed that in the modern age of printed imagery, reproductions of works of art on cards, in magazines and books constituted an imaginary museum. As the archives and collections of the world's libraries and museums become instantly accessible online, the resulting proximity of information from geographically distant sources will bring to virtual fruition 
Malraux's notion of the museum without walls. In 1999, during Fourth Ipoh Art Festival, Niranjan Raja curated the first Malaysian art online exhibition. He also advocates the act of bringing art to the internet instead of putting the internet on a pedestal. To quote him, Today, I feel that the significance of this new medium is not so much that it has brought progressive social change, but that it has set a new bar for adaptability and survival in the political economy. His sentiment echoes a call to return the arts back to the society or public at large, a kind of a post-traditional shift from modernist elitism to a return to traditional communalism. The internet for him is a fertile space to shift away from the narrow elitist and exclusive notions of modernist art whilst returning to the traditional notion of art as an integral, inclusive, participatory and communal platform for the, for the general public at large. Niranjan's earliest internet work, The Failure of Marshall Duchamp, was online in 1996. It was exhibited in Explorasi Exhibition uh, in 1997 at the Petronas Gallery Kuala Lumpur. It is an extension of his critical installation practice, interrogating the anthology of the image in a computer-mediated communication. It can also be taken as an attempt to mark the problem of cultural constituencies in the internet. Virtual Temple Project 1997 is Niranjan's web work, 3D print, in collaboration with Dr. Raman Sri Divasan. It explores the meeting place of technology and theology via the cyberspace. It theorizes and builds a virtual temple to Lord Nadaraja based on a real physical structure in Tamil Nadu. The first electronic art show was created by the Rajan Raja together with me in 1997. The exhibition was accompanied by an exhibition catalogue that was presented in both physical as well as virtual format. The virtual format uh, was able to be accessed through the internet uh, during the duration of the exhibition. E-Art ASEAN Online 1999 to 2000 signifies a shift from personal to the traditional notion of communalism. It also signifies the shift from national to regional emphasis. It functions during that time as an online portal that hopefully would prepare Malaysian artists to embrace new challenges and obstacles caused by rapid globalization brought about by information and communication technology. It was consisted of a database, e-forum, e-journal, web art, and e-link uh, that can now be taken as amongst the earliest forms of community-oriented online initiative. Digital Malaya Project, DNP, was established by Muid Latif in 2001. It was a platform to showcase local inspired design, also function as a network of local designers and graffiti artists strives to encourage and promote made in Malaysia digital art and design inspired by Southeast Asian rich design tradition. Upload, Download or UD 2003 uh, is an online collaborative project between a group of art students and young artists from two cities, Fukuoka in Japan and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. It was initiated by myself in collaboration with Rupes Sitaran as a part of a researcher-in-residence program at the Fukuoka 
Asian Art Museum Japan. Central to, to the project are the notions of self, identity, nationality, and cross-cultural encounters in the age of global telecommunication. It has to be noted that the internet has also been used or deployed towards participative social activism and mobilization. Simon Soon, for example, views the internet as no longer seen as a repository of information or an archive. It is increasingly entwined in our everyday lives. Consequently, for Simon Soon, the internet has been described as going live, becoming a site or a world that increasingly overlaps with our physical world and a space that participates in our real-time events. The examples of online projects that have been discussed share three important features. One is centrality of the audience. Second is the importance of understanding structure of information and number three empowerment activism and mobilization collectively they signify what can be termed as global shift return from fix to change and flux from object to human being from consumer to prosumer from mass standardization to mass customization from prescriptive or predetermined to choice from form to information, from mass media to transmedia, from centralized to multi-centers, from fixed to change, from hierarchy to network of relation, from linearity to non-linearity, from artist-centered to audience-centered, from fixed to modular, very interconnected, very interdependent. For Simon Soon, Art on the Internet feature the following key characteristics instant feedback from peers peerish network user oriented design topical interactivity and participatory hermeneutic populism convenience of information dissemination greater access and communication information that comes to users constant live updates and streaming, collaborative and collective mobilization, creative empowerment, political awareness outside institutional channels, criticality and radicalism, new public or audience, fair contestation and creative arsenal. Fellow colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this presentation has managed to provide a survey of the initial emergence of online art in Malaysia, as well as historical context in regards to the use of online technology in contemporary art practice in Malaysia. I also hope that the presentation has provided a significant insight for the legacy of electronic and media art practice in Malaysia, especially in regards to online art as well as virtual exhibition. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.